Welcome along to another how-to video from Satin Alliance. If you find these videos of benefit, we would appreciate a don donation via donation.satinalliance.com.au. Today's video will focus on the issue of disk quotas on Small Business Server. By default, disk quotas are turned on on Small Business Server and limit each standard user on the system to a total of one gigabyte of disk space. A very common issue after the installation of Small Business Server is for users to complain that they are getting disk full errors, even when there is lots of space available on the server hard disk. So, to demonstrate this, what we'll do is we'll firstly have a look at the server. I'm going to copy something on a workstation to a users folder on my E drive. If you have a look at my data, I have plenty of space available. So if I swap across to my workstation, as you can see, I've already navigated to the server, to the user share, and now I'm in my own user's home directory. If I now paste the information that I've copied earlier, You'll see that the process begins, but about halfway through I end up with an error telling me that there is not enough disk free space. We know this is not the case, and this has been caused by disk quotas implemented on Small Business Server. To view these disk quotas, simply go to the volume, right mouse click, properties, and select the quota tab. As you'll note here, you can see that disk quota management has been enabled and also set to deny space when users exceed the limit. By default, the small business server limit for each standard user is one gigabyte in total and they should receive warnings at 900 megabytes. This is the global setting. If you click on the quota entries, you'll be able to see individual settings for each user. If you have a look at the status, you'll see that the user in which I was logged on previously has exceeded the limit which I've artificially set to only be one megabyte. Thus when I copied my files on my workstation to the server they exceeded the one megabyte limit and thus I received the message complaining that the disk was full. I can reset this by simply clicking on the quota entry either selecting the option to not limit the disk usage or select a usage which is more appropriate for my user. By default on Small Business Server this quota limit is one gigabyte. This limitation is imposed through the user template which is used when you create a standard user on Small Business Server. If you want to modify this template or the one for the mobile user or power user which also limits the space simply double click on the entry and adjust it to whatever you see fit. Notice that the administrator template has no limits placed on it, so administrators of the small business server can copy up as much information as they require or as much information as there is disk space available. Again, if we look at the administrator here, we'll see that they've got 428 megabytes in use. Disk quotas also allow you to create a new entry, import and export. Note that maintaining individual disk quotas is a very onerous task and is not recommended as best practice, simply because it's too difficult to manage. But if you desire, you can manage the space taken by each user on a per user basis. In many cases, it may become too onerous to maintain these sort of limits. So again, you're able to uncheck the deny users exceeding the limit. This means that once they do exceed this limit they will only receive a warning. They will still be able to store information on the server. Alternatively you can unselect the enable quota management to turn it completely off for that volume. So if I now uncheck that, go OK, OK once again and now have a look at another volume. Again go to quota I will notice that the quota is still enabled on another volume. Thus, quota management is a, handled on a volume by volume basis. So again, if I want to turn it back on, I right mouse click on my volume, go to the quota tab, select that I want to enable it, check the options that I want, set the limits that I require, apply it, 
And note, it may take a few minutes to recalculate the space that each user has. If you go to Server Management and you select Users, and you can notice that there is an option here providing more information about changing mailbox and disk quota limits. If you select this, you'll be popped up with the Windows Help. Simply select Modify User Disk Space Limits and Warning Levels through the Windows interface, and you'll be taken through a step-by-step -step process of setting the limits. This brings us to the end of our presentation about disk quotas on Small Business Server. This has been a presentation by Saturn Alliance. For more information about our videos, please go to our website at www.satinalliance.com.au. Once again, thank you very much for watching.